Linear interpolation of functions can yield results which are not always meaningful, as can be seen when interpolating BRDFs. We present a new method based on displacement interpolation, moving one function toward the other, yielding more natural results in a variety of applications. We first describe earth mover's distance and displacement interpolation. The earth mover's distance sees functions as piles of sand. Here, the function on the left needs to be moved toward the function on the right, with minimum effort. First, the cost of moving a particle of sand from x to y is defined. The effort to be minimized is defined as the sum of these costs over all pairs of particles. We thus want to consider, for each source i and target location j, the amount of matter moving and the related cost. The quantity moved should remain positive and reconstruct the source and target functions. In our example, this results in the following motion of the particles. The mass transport can also be stopped part way. This intermediate mass distribution is the goal of displacement interpolation. The problem has been studied in low dimensional settings by solving a PDE on a grid. But can the problem be solved more generally using a Lagrangian approach? We present a continuous multi-scale Lagrangian framework and present novel applications in computer graphics. We now deal with continuous functions which have been sampled. To handle continuous functions, we decompose each function as a sum of non-negative Gaussians located at each sample point. Doing so allows discrete particles to be replaced by a continuous representation constructed from non-negative localized functions. The advection of these then allows for the reconstruction of intermediate interpolated functions. The combination of a discrete earth mover's distance and continuous radial basis functions allows for arbitrarily sampled functions on different manifolds. However, problems arise when dealing with more arbitrary functions. In this example, we take a function and add an offset. As we can see, in this case, the default displacement interpolation behaves much like linear interpolation. To remedy this problem, we propose a multiscale approach, decomposing the function into multiple bandpass signals. The EMD computations and the advection are then performed separately for each band. This results in proper advection of the reconstructed function. Here we demonstrate the method on synthetic 2D examples. Displacement interpolation can be used for interpolating sampled BRDFs. Here we see that linear blending produces ghosting rather than the desired interpolation. Using displacement interpolation results in a proper rotation of the anisotropic reflectance. We now move on to show the interpolation of measured BRDFs. Linearly interpolated results remain specular, while displacement interpolation progressively increases the roughness. Displacement interpolation can also be used to interpolate environment maps. We first show linear interpolation of point sampled environment maps. The shadows remain static. In contrast, displacement interpolation moves light sources and shadows. We can also interpolate value functions in reinforcement learning problems. Value functions provide optimal guidance for characters in an environment. Here we show particles following the gradient of the value function towards the target while avoiding an obstacle. Linear interpolation does not maintain the desired semantics. Placement interpolation generally preserves the expected behavior. It can also handle extrapolation. The position and velocity of the particle is then used to guide the position and velocity of an animated character. Color histograms can also be interpolated using our approach. Stipples and strokes can be advected in a way that guarantees that no collisions will occur. We compare the result to that of a greedy matching technique.